Hello, this is Ditto. We're going to show you how to trim his nails today. We use a grinder to grind the nails. It's, it's so dangerous to the dogs to have their nails get too long. It can do permanent damage to their feet. So it's really important to keep their nails short. We do nails pretty much every Thursday is our day of the week to do nails. So pick a day and get those nails done. This is what we use. We use a Dremel, something you can buy at Menards or your local hardware store. Um, I use a cordless. The cord works just fine. Um, otherwise, um, make sure you have a bit with a coarse sleeve, that um, sandpaper sleeve that goes over the top of that. That's what you want. And you want to keep that changed up every, oh, 30 or so um, nail grindings. And then Joe drew a picture for me of, the, of a foot uh, with a nail. I've kind of wrote on it a bunch here, but basically what you want is this 45 degree angle. So you, this is the correct angle that you want. You don't want it at this angle or this angle. You want it that 45 to help encourage that quick, this is the quick, to reseed. Um, so let me show you how it's done. I recommend putting your hair back in a ponytail if you've got long hair like me. Hopefully mine will be okay today. Um, which, what's important on these guys is not to fight with them. Don't ever get into a battle where you're pulling their leg and they're pulling their leg back. You know, you can really hurt them. So what I recommend is you kind of hold their leg tight to them. And then you simply take that tip of the nail off and angle it a bit. And you're good. I'm hoping you can see it. Maybe if I pull the hair back a little bit. And you, again, make sure you're not pulling your leg. And that's how you want that to look. So we're just going to get that. Get the tip and then angle it, the top back a bit. You can see how good he's being. He'd rather not do this. This isn't his favorite thing for sure. But he knows if he can just wait it out until I'm done, then he'll get his treat and life will go on. So the key is just to get through it. Okay, I'm going to start on the back leg. Again, he's kind of pulling. So what I do is I just keep that leg up tight to his body so he doesn't hurt himself. Or I don't hurt him by pulling on him. Running those nails. And a lot of times I will keep, you can see my middle finger there, I kind of keep it just there to steady my hand. See what a good boy he is. Good boy. All right, we'll try and get this last foot somehow here. I'm used to doing this at all sorts of angles. Just holding their feet here. One more to go. Almost there, Ditto. Good job. Nice job. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Um, I like to, you know, of course, this table setup is really nice. With We call this the noose and keeps their head still and, and the table. But if you don't have that kind of situation, just go ahead and use like a workbench or maybe even the top of your washer and dryer. Just put a rug on top of it so they can't slip. And... Um, and don't use the floor. You know, that's their play area where they get to play and, and you can go down and, and snuggle with them, play with them. If you do it on top of something, hopefully that will relate to them that you mean business and that you're just gonna do this and be done with it and move on. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions.